and he came up with, you know, I thought it was actually a pretty good, I could have probably done a whole talk about this, and if we get really obnoxious in here, we can forget about the rest of my talk and go into this, but I, I thought I would just address your issue. Um, and you would ask some people um, about my, one of the questions was my, my, my top 10 personal favorites, as well as top five busts. Well, I love the first question. I can't stand the second question. <laughs> and I figured if any of you had been watching me or in, during that period of time, um, I had a hard time coming up with busts, but I'm sure you can come up with them. <laughs> <laughs> OK. These actually are really my top 10, because when I think about it even more, I get, I really should have like a top 25. I just came up with these things. So they, they should be, if you're, if you're a fan of Northeast Snowstorms, and Dave, you know, you know all this stuff. And if you've read these books and you've done more than this stuff, I know you're out there. Um, these are no surprises. Um, actually, and, and I'll go over, over the last decade, I, I can really sort of add to that list, and even though I have Pres Day 2 and Blizzard of 2005, um, there's, there's a couple more that kind of get my attention, too. And remember, as far as criteria, they're my favorites, they're not yours. <laughs> so you asked the question, I gave you the answer. Okay, let's see. Huh? Happy to get to Okay, now just so happened, I wasn't the only one. Um, January 25th, 2000, you know, Wes, haven't they like come up with what they thought was wrong with that? But the reality yeah, but no, is it's no. Really. They, yeah. they, had, they thought, yeah. yeah so it's nine years later and we still don't yeah, know that the forecast um, sucked, excuse me. Um, December 30th, 2000, I had the advantage of being on live TV um, because that storm was supposed to hit, well, supposed to, from D.C. to New York to Boston. Well, I had some friends that were driving to work at uh, HBC that morning, and they were blinded by the sun instead of the driving the snow. Um, but in New York, that storm was actually predicted pretty well. It was also forecast in some cases about a week in advance. And I'm not sure what the forecast was in Boston, but I'm sure you got screwed by that, that one, too. That was absolutely the worst uh, nightmare I've been through in my 62 years. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're not talking about a nightmare driving. No, I, 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 the nightmare was that I went to Starbucks. It was 25 degrees. The low overcast was lower. We were under a winter storm warning. I got a cup of coffee. There was a long line. I walked out. The east wind was kicking. It was 37. And we were going <laughs> to <laughs> now, having grown up in New York, always, well, Jerry, I, you know, I grew up in New York all those years, and, you know, I thought, like, New York, we're kind of close to Boston. I was a kid. You know, I thought, we should get, like, sort of the same that you do. I learned very hard. I hated you guys. <laughs> And, you know, one time, you know, New York can get it and you get screwed. Come on. <laughs> right? Well, there's two ways to look at that. Because, you know, you could, you could be, not really. like, some of us are cursing these new jobs because I grew up in New York like you. Oh. And when I moved to the other place, it stopped me. Well, we, we won't talk about the 84 other times where New York got nothing and you got something. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll, I'll mention that a little later. Um, and actually, there was one I do, okay, I have to obviously, March 4th through 6th, oh, 2001. Wow. Wow. I'm not going to talk about it very much. I don't want to. <laughs> that, was, that was good for Albany. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, well, I don't think it was that good in Albany, was it? Oh, no. We got, well, Albany, Albany got shadowed. They got see, see, just, see. Just north and west. I mean, we had yeah, more no, snow I've... from that than the uh, superstorm of 93. Yeah. Okay, well, I've got some maps okay, there. Just, yeah. you know, just wipe the Okay. <laughs> All right. Now, actually, one of the... I, I had fun... Well, no, actually, I didn't have fun with this. December 25th, 2002. Remember that one? Yeah. I, I don't know what I looked like on the air, but I was so freaking perplexed. 
Uh, I just, that one to me was like, hubba, 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 hubba. <laughs> you know, you're oh, looking for the big high. There's no big high. And the thing was supposed to deepen like crazy, and then you're supposed to figure out where the wraparound, which hardly ever happens. Um, and I just remembered it kind of reminded me like the Lindsay storm back yeah, in February 69. And, you know, I, I got a little pleasure out of it. Did something kind of like that. But I just know forecasting that one was a bear. And there was also a dry slot through, sent, I think it was Connecticut. Yeah. So, you know, pain in the neck. All be good on that one, too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we did better eight days later. Oh, no, I thought you were, no. I've got it in there, and all. What? What okay. do you think about that the center of the corner is that, I believe that's the only time the Guardia and or Central Park recorded over an inch of rain, and they still ended up with what, I think 10 inches of snow or 6 inches of snow? Neither. I, th I think they had like five. It was like uh, portions of Long Island had right. a, up to a foot. Right. So they, they may have had five or six. I, mean, that, I remember reading somewhere that that was the most snow they got on a flash over over an inch of rain. Usually you like oh. a quarter of an inch of rain and then it flashes over the snow. Right. Getting an inch of rain and then getting that much snow on top of it. Kind of yeah, it was, it, I'm, I'm not complaining about this. No, I'm um, just saying that it was a tough forecast. Um, I don't think I really blew it, but you know, when you're on 536 times and you know you say one right thing, you've probably said 17 wrong things at some other times. Mm -hmm. Tell me no. <laughs> no. Thank you. Um, and then there's the obvious, uh, you know, worst nightmares. But they weren't my problem. Lindsay Snowstorm of '69 is just what I call a wonderful bust because they don't forecast it and you get it. Um, the really bad ones are the ones you forecast and don't get it. Right. Now, most of the rest of the world like thinks you're absolutely nuts, but I think I know who I'm talking to here. Um, and I thought I would just leave it here. Oh, and I'm sure you can bring up some real stinkaroos. Uh, <laughs> I just thought I would say that. I have an easy question. The oh, okay. first one, the January 25th, when you were studying that thing coming together, did, at some point did you see on the uh, water vapor loop that it did, I, didn't really want to... Uh, I remember the morning of the, was it the 25th, I think, or maybe it was the morning of the 24th. 24th. After, right, working, working on the 23rd, saying, oh, all this stuff's going out to sea. I remember waking up the morning, and normally, if there was something going on, I'd be waking up and really, I'd be getting ready to go in. And I just remember sort of waking up like 9 o'clock or so, and, you know, my, my satellite images, I'm like, oh, why hasn't anybody called me? Um, it, it wasn't supposed to look like that. So that was the first clue, like, you know, what the hell is going on there? And again, I think from my perspective, I had the advantage that even though I'm sure, like the rest of anybody else, I said that, you know, eh, it looks like it's all staying to the east. But the advantage of being on once every half an hour means at that point where it's like, it ain't going east, I'm able to say something. So I do remember, like, you know, oh my god, oh my god, you know, this is a big deal. And I was kind of new at that time anyway, but uh, that was tough. That was tough.